Welcome, Leo, to your December reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, getting to the beginning of the month over here, my friends. Let's see what's going on with you. Okay. Best message, please, for Leo. Give me a moment that you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. Six of Swords moving forward. Look at that. Get me in my boat. I gotta go. Whatever direction you're going in, it's like you're moving forward no matter what. It's uh, it's a good thing. Moving on. Moving in the direction that you need to be in. Or love. Wow. So the overall message for the reading is love. So feeling like the relationship is moving the way you want it to move. And it is definitely moving on with love. It does not feel like you're moving away from love. It feels like you're moving towards it. Um, clarifying on the situation. The situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. Or Leo. Saying, I know with the crown chakra. So you're in the knowing right now that your love is moving forward. Okay, coming together, there was a lot of understanding and a lot of coming together in the recent past. And the new, uh, look at that, in the near future, within almost mid-month, you have this new vitality, um, feeling like you have these rainbow blessings going on over here. Okay, so the coming together over here is having this mutual understanding. It feels like you have really bonded to each other and really are becoming as one over here. It's the same as the Two of Cups. So there is definitely a unity between the two of you that just keeps growing stronger and stronger from the recent past. Could have been a couple of weeks ago, a week ago, four hours before this reading, you know, whatever. But definitely finding a mutual ground and unity with each other. Absolutely. Having the Ten of Pentacles, feeling like it's very satisfactory. And yes, we do have this beautiful coming together um, and maybe even sharing each other's dreams, knowing, um, getting to really know each other. Look at that, traveling, taking the leap of faith together. And it feels like this is exactly where you wanted to travel to. You wanted to travel towards them. You wanted to really get to know them um, from all kinds of aspects and other deeper parts with, within, right? Really knowing their heart, right? Not just what's in your mind, but really what's in your heart. Um, and I do feel this coming together because that's what unifying is. It's I don't just know you from one side. I know you from all kinds of secret deep pieces also, as much as possible, right? And with the crown chakra over here, it's like I'm in the knowing. So really being in the knowing over here, I know love. Wow, look at that. I know love. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Just knowing that you know the love. You understand this person. You see the love that they want to give to you. Having the strength to carry through. There's this strength, and it's like this love is just keeps strengthening and strengthening um, right now, and you feel this strength of the commitment. Look at that, of the commitment. So knowing that all these things are here, right, and knowing that this is where we need to be. This is how things go. This is the way things are supposed to be, right? Okay, so this is a very good thing, right? Very, very powerful good thing. Because you're understanding the strength within the relationship. Having the same... You might even realize that this person believes in the same things you believe in. That also strengthens a relationship when we have the same belief um, going on. You know, whatever your belief is. But it helps grow and strengthen the relationship around offering. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio or a Taurus as well. Okay, But it's this offering, this offering of love, this offering of the Ace of Cups as well. Of wanting a fresh new start. It might even be a fresh new start in the way that we understand each other. Because as we keep growing together, we're understanding each other even more. So it feels like, you know, it's got this fresh new feeling about it. The more you keep coming together. Renewing the love. Maybe some of you even renewed your vows. Maybe they want to, if you're already in a committed relationship and you're already married, maybe they want to come to you and ask to renew your vows together. Right? Maybe they want to offer marriage to you. 
okay? Where you felt like, I'm not sure, right? Because if you're married and you were having a frustrating time with each other, <laughs> right? We have bumps, bumps and grinds on the roads. Um, there's some things that your life gets frustrating. You feel like you're getting past the frustrating pieces and really getting back to where the love really is. And this is that's where the renewing of this relationship goes. It's like, yes, we got frustrated. Yes, we had these problems. Maybe you were being a little egomatic. Maybe you were closing down your passion or they were closing down passion. But now it feels like we are reuniting as one again. Not just as two single people, but yes, moving on into the direction that is a healthier direction for our relationship. Absolutely. And there it is, taking action. Taking action with a fresh new start, a fresh new perspective. How beautiful is that? So it really feels like you're really getting down into what real love is. And yes, there's times and with it in relationships, like I said, we go on this roller coaster ride and it feels like some things that make us bump away from each other and then we have end up with problems but it doesn't mean that we can't grow strong together again it just means that life got in the way having this fresh new vitality well of course it's going to bring in this fresh new vitality because it's giving you this all these beautiful fresh new starts fresh new understandings and awarenesses for the victory feeling like you're really Feeling the victory. You're really conquering the love over here with this person. And you both feel the same way. Okay. And clarifying. Understanding. Wow. Having the knowledge and the understanding of what love really is. Really watching and observing each other. Really putting perspectives into a new order of what we can do together in the, the near future. Wow. Getting the Nine of Cups. But the Nine of Cups feels like self-satisfaction. Um, <laughs> And there is a lot of self-satisfaction, but I feel like it's from both of you. I feel like you and we're going to say Jim and I over here are having self-satisfaction together. Because you're both getting exactly what you, you feel you need, right? Which is good. And you can see it is almost, like I said, a fresh new love. So, but there's a lot of intuition and a lot of centered energy of emotions going over here. So you can really work on each other's emotions without... Um, feeling that they're separated. You understand what I'm saying? When we get frustrated, sometimes you feel like they're not listening to me. They don't care about what I'm saying. They don't, they're blocking this, they're blocking that. And maybe you felt like you both were doing the same thing, but when you reunite, then you can open up those things. I thought you didn't care about this. I thought you didn't, you know, and then you find out that it could have been the two of you doing the same thing. Um, but now you feel like you're both exactly where you need to be um, and being able to share your emotions from a deeper, loving, understanding way, which gives you both self-satisfaction. And this is where the victory of love really comes in, is having that understanding and being able to share those emotions without everybody just feeling mad and frustrated with one another. Okay, so beautiful reading, my friends. Okay, until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.